Well, you cannot properly tell the history of mixed martial arts without mentioning this man, the axe murderer, the Brazilian brawler, Vanderlei Silva, as crowd-pleasing a style as this sport has ever seen. And he's got the resume to back it up as well. Longest winning streak in Pride history, former Pride middleweight champion, Vanderlei Silva, back for more with all eyes on him here tonight. Vanderlei Silva will go down in history as one of the most aggressive fighters the world has ever seen. He is the quintessential berserker Muay Thai striker out of the shoot box camp of Brazil. Well, nice to see this young fighter healthy and making the walk here tonight. His takedowns are just incredible. High amplitude takedowns, great technique, explosion really with every shot, and seemingly no telegraph as well. So even a fighter with good takedown defense, more often than not, is not going to see this guy's shot come. This guy has one of the best abilities to take a shot that I have ever seen in all my years of commentating on fights. His chin is truly world class. for this heavyweight fight. More than a decade separates these two fighters when it comes to the age. Some differences in height and reach as well. All right, now for the particulars, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, a Muay Thai fighter holding a professional record of 33 wins, 10 losses, one draw, and one no contest. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 205 pounds. Fighting out of Las Vegas, Nevada, the Axe Murderer on the left, And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a jiu-jitsu fighter, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands 5 feet 8 inches tall, weighing in at 188 pounds. Fighting out of Kanagawa, Japan, Grandmaster. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Eve Labine. The veteran Eve Labine draws the assignment here. Ready? You ready? Fight. Well, how good is this? Reminds me of the good old days of Pride, the UFC Grand Prix single night tournament. This has been highly anticipated by fight fans around the world. And remember, if you sustain damage, that could affect you later on in this one night time. Good right hand. Nice sweep right into half guard. Oh, he got reversed. Well, not ideal to spend this much time on the bottom, but you can't fault him for his activity. Landing strikes here from the bottom. Nice work by Silva. On top in half guard. Slides him over, and nice reversal here. Look at that transition. Caught him with a punch. He postures into place. Attempting an arm bar here. Turns the hips. He's going to sit back. Any second now, he might have to tap. That arm bar is very, very deep. That's it. And that will do it. A beautiful job in setting up this arm bar. Excellent technique. Yeah, really impressive work out of him here tonight. He had to work for it, no doubt about it, but a nice job to isolate and ultimately secure the arm and then get the tap from the arm bar. So a pretty submission finish turned in by that fighter here tonight. And here it is again, absolutely perfectly executed. And one more time. Nice technique here on this submission. So there he is, your winner by submit. How you put the rest of the division on notice. A huge result for him here tonight. We get the official decision from Bruce Buffer. 
Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Leving has called a stop to this contest at two minutes, two seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by submission due to an armbar, Grand Master. So there he is, your winner by way of submission. And candidly, Joe, I'm not sure this night could have gone any better. He did have some doubters coming in. He said, I gotta mute those naysayers. And they're not gonna keep quiet unless I can actually get this guy out of there. So mission accomplished. No judges necessary tonight. He gets the submission. And now all that's left is...